Hey, Eric here, Nomadic Fanatic. Um, uh, so the question, why do I choose to live in an RV? Why do I choose this lifestyle? Uh, you know, being a 32-year-old guy, I have a cat. It's about the only thing. Um, right now I'm not working, I'm just going to school. But I really don't have anything tying me down to one place. You know, getting married. I don't even understand the fact of getting married. The fact that you have to get married and you have to have kids. And people move into houses all the time or apartments. They don't get along with their neighbors. They want to leave, but they can't. Because they can't afford to move, you know? I, uh, I hate roommates. I've never gotten along with a roommate in my life. I've tried it, and it doesn't work. I like to go to my free campgrounds when they're open. They're not open right now, but, you know... I like being on, well, I'm on six wheels, but I like being on wheels, you know, be able to turn the key and go. My engine will not start when it's freezing. When it is below 32 degrees, my engine won't start. I mean, life ain't perfect. I live with a cat, and that, that makes things a lot more difficult. I love my cat a lot more than I'd love living with anybody else. But, you know, right now, I think I already talked about the freezing temperature here that we're having in Olympia. Uh, my black and gray water tanks are completely frozen. Hard as a rock. I can't take a shower right now in my shower because the tank below is frozen. It doesn't matter that I have a water holding tank that's full because I can't put any more water in the drains right now. I just, you know, it's just one of those... Uh, the deep cycle battery holds a terrible charge. I'm talking, I just run a couple DC lights and my furnace fan overnight. It'll be dead the next morning. And my generator takes DC power to start up. So boondocking out here, you know, it's, I can get stranded out here. If it's freezing and I can't, you know, start up the, the main engine to be able to charge the generator. So I mean... There's a lot of things. My, my toilet, uh, also in the back where the water comes in, it's leaking a little bit. Oh, my, my fridge is missing the, the, the tray underneath the coils, so that when it does that automatic thaw thing, there's nothing to hold the water. It just drips down, so it gets on my egg carton and anything else down there on the top of the soda. Um, you know, I, I burn through propane. I didn't realize it at first, but I wanted to actually get an actual number a dollar amount of how much propane I go through. It's December here in Washington State. I go through that 20 pound container of propane once every five days with my thermostat set at 60. But the water heater, there's only one way to heat my water and that's with the propane water heater. Unless I was to just use it like once a day, like just flip it on once a day, wait till it, give it an hour to heat up and then take my shower, wash my dishes, Everything I need with, you know, I don't know if that would be worse. I like being on, well, I'm on six wheels, but I like being on wheels, you know, be able to turn the key and go. A 20 pound container, if you do that on a monthly basis during the winter, it costs me $70 a month in propane. Pro propane, you know, $70. But I mean, then again, think of it this way. I mean, there's people out there that live in houses that have an energy bill that's way more than $70 a month for their energy bill. And I'm completely self-reliant. My engine will not start. My engine will not start. Um, I have a technique for washing clothes in the river. Um, you know, it's freezing out there. 